Hello everybody and welcome again after some weeks some positive weeks even if weeks of hard work of for myself at least um, because it seems everything is the same but in real I am in a different spot of the world better spot where you eat better and whatever so I had these two weeks and probably this one again more uh, of moving and you know solving all these things and this is why I was a bit out from YouTube and posting my theories and examples in regards to hedging in Forex and um, as also I got some issues with you know connectivity as usual when you change to another spot I got just <coughs> couple of days ago some internet connection and then I will have a stable one very fast so there won't be a problem but in this transition I, I w was able to afford at least something in Forex to show you and to uh, somehow give more uh, credibility and uh, consistent results from the model that I am developing for especially manual trading if uh, even if now I would start also to work to an automated version that would be anyway specific and must be monitored in order to get some gain even if I'm still on the opinion that by using this filter uh, in your evaluations even if you do little mistakes and in fact what I want to show you now is it's just something that I traded uh, between yesterday night and I went to bed then I woke up I saw some situations then I uh, decided to pick up other orders to you know ju just do some stuff here and there and analyze from yesterday uh, because that was the moment I had available again, again my platform and also my studio uh, with my computer set up for for trading and um, so I made some trades I will show you in a while uh, and I also made a mistake in the sense that uh, I was evaluating too much faster it, this happens when you're tired <laughs> you, you should not uh, trade in that sense but anyway even with a mistake I can be very happy um, but sometimes you know we have to uh, understand that the price uh, action regarding the whole market can have big movements aggressive movements and we have to give sometimes a chance to some predictions but because we are already in uh, a positive gain otherwise it's better just to stay straight to the main way to trade which is the simplest and the most effective then we can afford other kind of performances okay so basically now you're seeing my my chart completely naked there's only there's nothing there's no uh, algorithm running at this moment and this is because uh, some of you have got some emails asking uh, how the my expert advisors which is a kind of real-time reader of the market situations so it's not you make the predictions through some values that anyway reflect the analysis of 32 charts instead of analyzing chart by chart each one of them in different time frames even if usually the most effective to analyze is the daily one in every in every chart and then make some adjustments or uh, understandings uh, with the monthly the weekly and also the four hours and one hour chart but uh, let's say that you have to analyze all these currency pairs and this can be very tricky okay so uh, some of you asked me how this does apply so in order to apply uh, the expert advisors we much we must load in uh, every chart the expert advisor that will have a common part of reading that will be repeated in each and every chart because of course we can observe the euro dollar and its values but at the same time we want to have always uh, reverberate the values of the market so in this case I will do a little demo demonstration just to uh, for 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 giving an answer to the emails I got uh, basically it's just simply a matter of applying 
the expert advisor and uh, the expert advisor will load and we must now now we are on a 30 minutes chart so it will give us the information on the whole market based on a 30 minute time frame okay informations are all displayed on this panel uh, so um, we we don't have to move around with our eyes and also the graphical elements which indicates us uh, the sessions ranges of the ASEAN, the European and the American session reverberated in three days can give us an idea of what is going on. So basically if now we should think about trading on a 30 minute time frame the situation at this moment on a 30 minute time frame basis is that CAD you can always check I always remind you to give a look at the hour make your checks on your platform as well uh, hopefully you have a, an ECM broker uh, at this moment I was saying uh, CAD is the, the currency that we must buy and Swiss franc the currencies the currency that we must sell okay so if we stay strict to this plan on a 30 minute time frames so it means that let's see now it can change quite drastically quite often so the shorter the time frame the more volatile and more ephemeral is the prediction the more we are going to the longer longer time frames the more <coughs> things are stable okay <coughs> so sorry <coughs> so we go and we move on the daily time frame and on the daily time frame we still see something I, I close my my trades and I will show you in a while what I also replied uh, personally but here as usual starting of the week um, I created a demo account and I have performed the, tra the transactions that you will see in a while in the usual statement report okay so at this moment on a daily time frame we see clearly that CAD is still a, a currency, to, currency to buy and yen in this case is the currency to sell even if at this moment at this hour uh, games are done for the day okay this is why I closed it could be also an extension whatever what I heard is enough and today is another day this is the philosophy that should be we have always to get if we go into the market we do not belong to the market we have also to get out of the market okay so basically the operations that have been done today on this uh, account uh, generated a profit of 3000 euros uh, roughly uh, and uh, if I show you the the operations that I did basically the only ones that I was not very there was a moment that instead of Japanese yen was coming very strong Swiss franc okay so I decided to trade Swiss franc on a USD and GBP but I was looking that was not very success, successful and in, in, in fact uh, the algorithm uh, after uh, showing that move for me was a bit of kind of testing because I was already in positive of about a thousand euros so I decided also to test this but then the algorithm came even with more currencies uh, to buy against the yen to sell and so I did that way at the end I decided to take my two losses and move in the direction of the algorithm and the result as you can see here I have only two loss two consecutive losses that I closed by myself manually and I let other trades go uh, you can see here and make your assumptions to uh, the time that I injected the orders and the results so it's always for your check to verify so we have this negative thing that I don't like that much but it gives a nice shape you know and this these are the pips that generated the, this final uh, final balance uh, with plus 3000 and you can see uh, we have the same conditions 3000 
3083.50 and if you see my previous videos uh, those are following this procedure very slow with all the passages so you can always check uh, how do I arrive uh, immediately to this uh, I just make a, a statement report of my trades on that account uh, so the performance in, in real was fine even with this negative spot sometimes I make negatives because I, I press buy instead of sell or vice versa but in the overall performance even a mistake or two because then I contained you see I wasn't suggested to trade uh, too much currency pairs only two so it was very easy to repair to the little damage and trade the USD against the yen and also the GBP that anyway USD and GBP were to buy even in these situations this is why I bought them but not against the Swiss franc against the yen and GBP was very uh, a strong persistent signal so I uh, put some extra um, investment on the GBP currency okay so as you can see this is the result CAD now was the leader and uh, I opened two positions but then I decided you know to close this is a very nice uh, nice result at the end so I think that we have somehow to accept uh, what we can humanly do day by day and especially in these days that I'm very tired even I think you can see that because you know moving and transferring and relocating is sometimes a stressing activity even if then you know you go to a better place so it's funny at the same time but some activities you have to stop them for a while so now it was the very first day and I wanted also to uh, make an inauguration of this by making a video of welcome again and uh, I hope that this uh, gives you another update and uh, by checking the trades I made you can easily maybe do some math and reverse engineering with the theory that I was explaining about so that this can be a, um, a good help for you to practice and understanding the foreign exchange market uh, at this moment I will be anyway busy <coughs> also some in the next days for other things that as you can imagine I I must do but feel free anyway to write me or to subscribe my channel and post some comments I will always take some time for following them and as soon as possible I will probably do another seminar on something or webinar uh, I will decide okay so let's keep in contact Thanks for following me, for subscribing to my channel, for all your emails and I wish you a very good week trading. This was an intraday trading example but I wish you a lot of good intraday tradings and uh, a positive balance at the end of the week and good time and good space as usual to all of you. Bye.